Well, hello there, Taurus. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are going to be doing your mid-October reading. So this is good from now until mid-November, and it's good for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. If you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it. If you would consider a like, commenting, or subscribing, I really do appreciate all of your support. All right, let's see what we have here. Moss Spirits, Render Now, okay, and Ying. Okay, so, you know, both of these are kind of an energy of allowing the universe to help you through some situation, um, of letting go of the wheel, of maybe having to have so much control in a certain situation, and just allowing, getting kind of a little bit more in your, this is a divine feminine energy, so you could be um, kind of in an energy of wanting to do, 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 okay, that's the divine masculine, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine within us, so it's kind of surrendering a little bit, um, not trying to control the universe or control outcomes quite as much and allowing the universe to take a little bit more, um, having a little bit more leeway <laughs> in a certain situation or relationship that you have, understanding that you know the universe has your highest good in mind and is uh, trying to bring those things in that are the best for you, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have the travel card. Yeah, understanding that you deserve a change. Okay, there's a change coming in that you deserve this. You, you know, the travel card, you could be actually moving, moving jobs, moving houses, moving cities. Um, but it's also perhaps moving your mindset from one and, you know, from one thing to another. Um, understanding that you deserve this change, this transformation that is occurring in your life. And you have a great achievement underneath there. You know, stepping into an energy of really creating the life that you want for yourself. But uh, we're going to take a look at this because I do feel like, there's almost this energy of uh, of trying to um, push this. Yeah, taking a lot of action. There's a burden here that you have to drop first, you know, in order for your love to be, you know, to me this is, especially in this deck, you know, I love this, that she's sitting there, she has a, a bowl and the butterflies are leaving. It's like putting your love and light, your spiritual gifts, your talents, your creative abilities out into the world to shining your light, right? But if you notice, she's not really doing anything. Let's look at that, right? She's, you know, just a kind of, um, you know, I don't know, what would you say? She's just holding the bowl. She's, <laughs> she's not scattering the butterflies. She's not throwing them out into the air. It's this energy that you could be almost trying too hard, okay? So we're going to look at that because I think that could be a little bit of your obstacle, kind of, um, you know, you could have, you know, a checklist of all the things that you want to get done today. And you're, you know, do, do, do. You're just focusing on the doing instead of just sitting and allowing and listening to your intuition. So let's take a look at um, your present energy. Planning an action. There you go. Yep. You have your checklist. <laughs> you're working away at it. You're trying to bring some balance into your life. But you're having a hard time bringing it in. Um, for some of you, you know, there could be somebody else that is kind of like in the middle between you and kind of what you want or between you and another person that's kind of causing this situation here. So let's um, clarify this. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, there's a sense of, all right, the Queen of Swords is a, a lovely energy of being focused on what it is that you want, but it's almost like you're so focused on what it is that you want that you're having to defend it, okay? You're having to, it's almost like, um, okay, you know what they're showing me is in the movie, and I love this movie, um, you've got mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, right? There's this scene where she um, is getting all riled up because there's something that she, she's trying to save her business, right? 
And so somebody suggests to her that, you know, there's a line from the Godfather, go to the mattresses, right? And she's getting ready to have, to do this uh, speech on TV or something in front of her bookstore that she owns that she's trying to save. And she's, you know, go to the mattresses, you know, she's like, just, you know, she's trying to get herself all pumped up. It's almost as if though, you're, you're doing too much of that. It's kind of like you're, mm, I'm just going to go fight, fight, fight for what I want. There is this sense of allowing, you know, kind of getting back into your heart space, softening your approach in something that you're doing. So the Queen of Swords is kind of like this energy that is really nice at times, right? To be really focused on what you want. And the Queen of Swords will bring down the sword and cut out anything that is not good for her. But there's almost a sense here that if you come into this with a little bit more of a loving and edge to it, okay, Taurus, that you're going to have more success because um, it's almost as if when you're in this energy, it's almost that too much of that divine masculine energy once again. So you're kind of like taking a lot of action, right? But it's, it's not really getting you as far as you want to, to go. Um, so you're almost kind of like getting in the way. There's a sense that you know, the divine is helping to bring in the healing or what it is that you're wishing upon a star for. The divine is working behind the scenes, right? All they're asking you, look at, we have the queen of cups here. And all they're asking you is to get more into your intuition, sitting and being and not getting, um, so caught up in what you are doing because when we're doing we're not being um and when we're sitting in our divine feminine energy right um we're we're not allowing our fears or we're not taking action a lot of times our actions can be based on fear so there's this energy of just softening of just letting letting go a little bit bringing a little bit more love um, into the situation, getting more into your heart space. Because your obstacle here is that you're trying to play it safe. There's something that you want long term. You have a goal in mind, okay? But what you don't understand is that your actions are really because your actions are all based in your head, you know, think about it. the queen of swords is taking action. She's logical. She's logical. She's all in her head. So you're taking action based on your logic instead of your heart. When you get back into your heart space, okay, this energy changes. You know, have you ever, um, it's kind of interesting because have you ever, uh, you know, um, okay, it, it, say you go to the store or maybe you go to, um, you know, where you get your driver's license, the DMV, maybe you go to the DMV, right? Um, and there's, you, you, you have a goal. You want to, to get your driver's license. Perhaps you just moved, right? And you, you want to get your driver's license and you get there and you don't have something that you need, right? And it's kind of like, they they're like no you have to go get this extra you have to prove you live at that address or something like that and you're kind of like oh my goodness you know like I took this afternoon off to come and take care of this and you're you're kind of going at it really kind of queen of swords way <laughs> right and it's a little bit about well could you um okay I'm going to give you an example I love to look at houses right so um I wanted to to go and look at this neighborhood but it was a gated community okay um and it was kind of up like uh, on a lake and I really wasn't going to buy there I just wanted to drive around <laughs> and the security guard you know he was just like well no you you don't, you know you're not here to see anybody or anything like that and and so I just sat there and I just kind of kept talking to him you know <laughs> before I knew it he was letting me through the gate, you know? I mean, you know, it, it, I, I'm not going to steal anything. Um, it's that type of thing. It's a little bit like you just need a little sweet talking here. You're, you're uh, taking the edge off of that Queen of Swords energy. And it, 
It's sweet talking. That's what it is. Yeah, and then you get what you want very suddenly. It's almost as if the sweet talking is what you get, you know? It's kind of like when you were a kid and you wanted wanted to go spend the night at a friend's house or something and your mom was like, "No, you know, no, you have to go you have to go clean your room or whatever." You know, there was this no, right? And then you you, you learned that the best way to approach it is, oh, mom, you know, you look so pretty today. <laughs> you know? And mom's looking at you like, what? <laughs> I spent the day cleaning the house, <laughs> you know? And you're like, oh, mom, you're the best mom ever, right? It's the sweet talking, you know? You you kind of like, yeah, it's the sweet talking that gets you in, gets you to have this work out in your favor, Really kind of an interesting message here because it's all working out for you. Look at you have the honoring path. You get you you're on your path. When you surrender, when you kind of like do the sweet talking, Taurus. That's all I can say. Sweet talk this person or this situation, right? Yeah. I you know, for some of you, it could be somebody from your past or kind of like childhood, kind of like taking action, communicating to this person in a sweet way, right? Doing this sweetly brings you the balance that you're looking for. For some of you, if you're looking at some type of a legal matter, it's the same thing. It's kind of like a little bit of sweet talk goes a long way. You could be thinking about trying to get into the head of the other person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, seeing what is motivating them, trying to figure out, you know, asking yourself, what is motivating them? Or what, what can I do to kind of motivate? You're, you're a little bit playing a game here, but really what it is, is that you're coming in with a softer approach. I feel, Taurus, you're going to be like, that's not the way, you know, I play the game. Um, but this is the way to get what it is that you want. And I'm not saying you're lying. You're not doing any lying. You know, it, it really isn't. You know that you, your mom is the best mom. You know, your mom is beautiful, right? It's, it's the energy of approaching it with that, you know, kind of coming into it with <laughs> buttering them up, butter up your mom. <laughs> All right, let's go get a Soul Truth card. And Taurus, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. All right, let's see what we need to do to butter up your mom here. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Yeah, so you know, when we focus on what we may lose, we can sometimes get into that uh, divine masculine energy fighting, you know, going to the mattresses, fighting for what it is that you really want. Uh, there's just a softer approach that you could take with this, you know. Are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you may gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. You know, I, I think there is a message. If you're resonating with this, right, and you're like, yeah, I'm fighting, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... You know, um, it, it, there is something about, are you fighting because you're you're so afraid of losing something, you know? And if you're afraid of losing something, you know, what could you gain if you buttered up your mom? <laughs> what could you gain? You could gain a sleepover with your friend, right? Um, but if you go in there and you're like, mom, but I really want to go. And you're, you know, you're going to get sent to bed early without your dinner. <laughs> you know, it's that type of energy, you know. So, um, yeah, focus on what you're gaining as you're going through this. Uh, really and truly try to get into the mindset of the person that you may be dealing with in this situation. Um, whether it's your boss, you know, a loved one or whoever, it's kind of like, getting into their mindset, you know, how would you want to be approached? Think about it that way. How would you want to be approached with whatever the situation is? You have something in mind that you want to get out of the situation. So it's like, okay, how, how would I want to be approached about this situation? All right, well, I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. What an interesting reading. I am actually going to go and think about this for a situation in my life. So um, I, I always get the benefit of having all the Zodiac <laughs> readings. I resonate with all of them. I um, wish you so much love and light, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.